Hi again. Welcome to another math class. Today we are going to look at whole number and some divisibility tests. Let's look at the divisibility tests you have learned so far. The first one, a number is divisible by 2 if it has 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0 in the ones place. That's the test for 2. How about the test for 3? A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 3. For 5, you have to just look at the last digit. If the number ends in 0 or 5, the number is divisible by 5. For 6, if the number is divisible by 2 and 3, then we can say that the number is divisible by 6. The test for 9 is if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 9, then you can say that the number is divisible by 9. For 10, all you have to see is the last digit. If the number ends in 0, you can say that the number is divisible by 10. Today, we are going to learn about a few more divisibility tests. Let's start with the divisibility test for 4. Divisibility by 4. Let's take an example. 3, 5, 4, 2, 8. Is this number divisible by 4? To see if a number is divisible by 4, you have to check the last two digits. That is the 1's place and the 10's place. If the last two digits is a multiple of 4 or double zero, then the number is divisible by 4. So you need to look for the last two digits and see if it's a multiple of 4 or if the last two digits has double zeros. So let's take this number. What are the last two digits? 28. 28 is 4 into 7. So 28 is divisible by 4. Therefore, 3, 5, 4, 2, 8 is divisible by 4. Remember, take the last two digits and see if it is divisible by 4 or if it is a multiple of 4 or it has two zeros. Let's take another example. How about 1500? Zero, zero? Is this number divisible by 4? Yes, it is because the last two digits has double zero. How about 5132? The last two digits, 32, is 8 into 4. It, 32 is a multiple of 4. Therefore, 5132 is divisible by 4. Let's do the next divisibility test. Let's see if a number is divisible by 8. 2, 7, 1, 2, 8. Is this number divisible by 8? So, to see if a number is divisible by 8, you need to check the last 3 digits. The last 3 digits. If the last 3 digits is a multiple of 8 or multiple of 8 or if the last three digits has 0, 0, 0, then we can say that the number is divisible by 8. So what is, what are the last digits? It's 1, 28 is 8 into 16. It is a multiple of 8. Therefore, 2, 7, 1, 2, 8 passes the test and it is divisible by 8. Let's look at another example. 7, 1, 3, 6. Is this number divisible by 8? Look at the last three digits, 136. 8 into 17 is 136. So, 136 is a multiple of 8. Therefore, this is divisible by 8. Let's take another example, 13000. 0, 0, 0. 
is this number divisible by 8? The last three digits has 0, 0, 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 8. Let's look at divisibility by 11. Let's take an example. 7, 9, 7, 7, 3, 5. To see if a number is divisible by 11, you need to find the sum of the two sets of alternate digits, even and odd places. So you have to do this, alternate digits. Take the sum of alternate digits. So the alternate digits are 7 plus 7 plus 3. That is 17. And the other digits are 9 plus 7 plus 5, 21. Now let's take the difference of these two. That is 21 minus 17 is 4. If the difference is 0 or a multiple of 11, then the number is divisible by 11. So this difference, it has to be either 0 or multiple of 11. 4 is not 0. 4 is also not a multiple of 11. Therefore, 7, 9, 7735 is not divisible by 11. Let's take another example. How about 7, 6, 1, 8, 5, 5, 6? How about this number? 76 lakhs 18,556. Is this number divisible by 11? Remember, we need to take the sum of alternate digits. So we do this. Let's go ahead and work the sum. So the first 7 plus 1 plus 5 plus, oh sorry, I forgot this. You have 6 also. Plus 6. This is 19. How about the one in red? 6 plus 8 plus 5 gives you 19. So the next step is to do the subtraction. You do. 19 minus 19 you take the difference of these two it is 0 since it is 0 7 6 1 8 5 5 6 is divisible by 11 remember you have to look for two things you need to find the difference to be either 0 or a multiple of 11 Let's do another one, last one. 9, 1, 5, 2. Let's take the alternate digits. 1, 2, 9, 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. 1 plus 2 is 3. The difference 14 minus 3 is 11. And 11, since you got 11, the number 9152 passes the test and it is divisible by 11. How about 12? How do we find if a number is divisible by 12? Divisibility by 12. Let's take an example. 3528. You need to see if the number is divisible by divisible by 4 and divisible by 3 let's look at that 3 5 2 8 let's check if this number is divisible by 4 how do you check if the number is divisible by 4 
you need to see if the last two digits is a multiple of 4 28 that's right 4 into 7 so it is divisible by 4 now you need to see if it is divisible by 3 how do you do that 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 8 that gives you 18 which is a multiple of 3 it's divisible by 3 as well since the number is divisible by 4 and 3 we can say 3 5 2 8 is divisible by 12 let's take another example 1 2 5 1 is this divisible by 12 let's check if it is divisible by 4 1 2 5 1 the last two digits 51 is not a multiple of 4 so it is not a multiple of 4 so it is not divisible by 4 if it is not divisible by 4 it cannot be 1 2 5 1 cannot be divisible by 12 So remember, to check if a number is divisible by 12, you need to see if it is divisible by 4 and divisible by 3. If it is divisible by 4 and if it is divisible by 3, then it is divisible by 12. To see if it is divisible by 4, you have to do, you have to see if the last two digits, if it is a multiple of 4, or if the last two digits is 0, 0. For 3, you just have to take the sum of the digits and see if the sum is a multiple of 3. That's your divisibility test for 12. Divisibility by 15. We know 15 is equal to 5 into 3. So, if a number is divisible by 5 and 3, we can say that the number is divisible by 15. Let's consider 7, 5, 3, 5. Let's see if 7, 5, 3, 5 is divisible by 15. So, is this number divisible by 5? Since the last digit is 5, it is divisible by 5. How about 3 is this number divisible by 3 let's check 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 will add up to 20 is not 20 is not a multiple of 3 so it is not divisible by 3 therefore 7 5 3 5 is not divisible by 15 remember it needs to be divisible by 5 and 3. Let's take another example. 1500. Zero, zero. Is this number divisible by 15? First step divisible by 5? Yes, because it is ending in 0. Divisible by 3? Let's see. 1 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 gives you 6, which is 2 into 3. It's a multiple of 3 it's just divisible by 3 since it is divisible by 5 and divisible by 3 we can say 1500 is divisible by 15 to summarize all the divisibility tests have a look at this table today we have seen the divisibility test by 4. The rule is that the last two digits taken together should be divisible by 4. For 8, the rule is the last three digits taken together should be divisible by 8. And for 11, we take the sum of digits in odd places minus sum of digits in even places. If that is 0 or a multiple of 11, we can say that the number is divisible by 11. For 12, we need to see if the number is divisible by 3 and 4. For 15, the test is if the number is divisible by 3 and 5. 
you can find more exercises in your book you can find this chapter from page number 76 to 86 please go ahead and read the chapter and practice as many questions as you can the more you practice the more you get good at all the divisibility tests the moment a number is given you will be able to quickly remember what rule applies to what number and answer the question please go ahead and practice practice will make you perfect bye bye